CCH to GetX smart insight capabilities extends your ad hoc analysis experience and ultimately helps maximize on the fly data consumption and analysis in a simple to use drag and drop environment. A blank canvas serves as my starting point for the investigative journey, and the dimension panel on the left enables me to navigate the Togetic data model or any of the hierarchies to start selecting those business dimensions that I want to drag, drop, and release to my report structure. Of course, I can go multidimensional, maybe grab some of my entities for a regional breakdown by different cost centers, and I can continue doing this across the rows or the columns with any of my business dimensions, or even start leveraging built-in filters such as current versus prior month to add to the columns. Additionally, I can use my filters panel and add maybe my accounts as measures behind the scenes to really operate and allow me to start investigating on fixed operating expenses still leveraging that drag and drop experience. Quickly refreshing, my report gives me some of that live data that I can start viewing and consuming, start formatting or uh, even further investigating by leveraging some of the drill down options such as double clicking. So the idea here is really start with a blank canvas and then start building on top of that with ultimate data governance, still using that one core data model. It's not just that though, I can start leveraging free form or free text, in this case, adding August to my columns by typing in 08 and viewing some of that data in the same format without necessarily dragging and dropping that physical member. Certainly, we can get rid of some of those panel members to actually make the working grid a little bit larger. And in this example, I can start leveraging some formatting to make the data a little bit easier to consume as well. So maybe some of the accounting formatting on top of that and maybe leverage some of the color scales coming from the conditional formatting. Of course, it's not just that. We can start actually adding additional charts, graphs, or other analytic tools such as cluster columns or bar charts, hitting on OK, and start dragging those over to uh, maybe the right-hand side of my working grid in this case. So very easy to start with a blank template, a blank canvas, and certainly easy for end users to adopt because I can even start leveraging some of that familiar formula building to do some totals for columns or rows, drag that over, uh, maybe work on my column to make it a little bit wider there, and again, do that same type of formatting. So really easy to start building reports right on the fly, and once this journey is done, once we format it exactly the way we want, we can, of course, go ahead and save it in our shared library to then start reusing for further analysis.